Why African Angels Did Not Respond to Paula White's Orders Welcome back to Global TV Adverts. The channel that brings the latest news and gist from around the world. Please kindly subscribe and hit that notification bell to notify you anytime we upload latest news and gist for you. Megachurch pastor and televangelist Paula White Kane, who is spiritual advisor to President Donald Trump, delivered a prayer service Wednesday night in an effort to secure Trump's re-election. At the service, which was streamed on Facebook Live, White Kane called on angelic reinforcement from the continents of Africa and South America. I hear a sound of victory, the Lord says it is done, she said. For angels have even been dispatched from Africa right now. In the name of Jesus from South America, they're coming here. In her prayer, White Kane is also heard speaking in tongues an occurrence in which a speaker talks in a language they do not know, usually during an intense religious experience. Speaking in tongues has been practiced in multiple Christian denominations, as well as other religions. White's video has gone viral all over social media platforms since it went online Wednesday night and viewers were early waiting for the victory results. And many have expressed outrage over her words. God is sending angels from a place Trump called a expletive to help him get re-elected. Bishop Talbert Swan, a pastor, activist, and NAACP chapter president, wrote on Twitter. I hear the sounds of victory. Consider a hearing aid. White Kane also stated that demonic confederacies are attempting to steal the election from Trump. As of Thursday morning, Joe Biden had 264 electoral votes and Trump 214, according to USA Today counts. Even before outrage over Wednesday's video, White Kane was a controversial figure in Christian circles because she preaches prosperity theology, or prosperity gospel a belief that God will reward believers with material wealth if they donate generously to religious causes. Listen to Paula White calling out on the angels. For angels have even been dispatched from Africa right now, Africa right now, Africa right now, from Africa right now. They're coming here. They're in the name of Jesus from South America. They're coming here. They're coming here. Angelic reinforcement, angelic reinforcement, angelic reinforcement. And every right and authority to declare the White House as holy ground because I was standing there and where I stand is holy. Lords, I'm downloading heaven. Hey! It all began before the election process where Paula White was campaigning for Donald Trump to become president and that she believes so much in the man and urged people to pray and vote. To take action and and pray. Listen to, to her speech. And while we are praying, we must put works with our faith. Get out and vote. You know why I stand with President Donald Trump. You know why I stand beside him. As the most pro-life president, as standing for Israel, as alleviating poverty, as standing for the nuclear family, and doing so many other things, standing with the church and, and declaring it essential, standing with religious liberty and freedoms for all people of faith. To me, the choice is very clear. I ask you to study the issues and to pray to God and to talk to your friends and get out and vote. The question in the hearts of many followers of Paula White and other viewers from across the globe is why the African angels and South American angels did not respond to the prayer and Donald Trump lost the election to Joe Biden. I will be explaining reasons why the 21st century angels has not responded. Did you know that angels are mentioned more than 190 times in the New Testament alone? We have read about these celestial beings opening prison doors, delivering messages from God, and showing up in people's dreams, but are angels among us today? Right now, going unseen, there are angels on assignment for people, young and old, in various roles and jobs, some ans a footstool for your feet. Are they not all ministering spirits, sent out to render service for the sake of those who will inherit salvation? Hebrews 1.13-14, the question now is where have all the angels gone in the 21st century church? Where were the African angels Paul's white called on? The challenge is that globally the church can be like a rebel without a cause. I often see people do what they want to do, where they want to do it. Too often, they plant churches, yet no one sent them. Sadly, they aren't connected to anyone. 
The consequence? They compete with the guy across the street who did the same thing, yet, it's a kingdom divided, and they wonder why they aren't seeing angelic intervention, miracles in their ministry, or supernatural breakthrough in the lives of those they lead. So the question isn't where have all the angels gone, rather my question for the roamers out there is, did you just go, or were you actually sent by God? And, do the angels recognize your authority? When we are under God's authority, which includes being under his leadership, the angelic hosts that are assigned to that mission of God accompany us on our journey. I am not saying that Paula White was not called by God but I am just asking, did God send Paula to pray for Donald Trump? And did God assign you for that assignment? Whatever the case may be God is God and he is no respecter of persons. He is unquestionable. Thanks for watching, please remember to subscribe, like, share and leave your comment on this issue. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can always be notified anything we post a new video. Thank you.